plus 13 sound. Okay? Yes, ma'am. First, can morning, I... Morning, all of you. Yeah, Good just morning, let me ma wish you. Good morning, all of you. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Fine. Thank you, Vita. Yes, let's start. What is sound? Start, Vita. A sound is a form of energy made by vibrations. Number two, when an object vibrates, it causes the air particles around it to move. Number three, the particles bump into particles close to them and this continues until they run out of energy. Good. So now we are going to define what is sound. See, you can hear me. I can hear you, right? We are not there in vicinity. We are not close. You are at your place. All of you are at your own homes, isn't it? But still you can hear me. That is sound. How is it possible? This is digitally, right? This is what? This is energy. Sound is a energy made by vibrations. Now what is called as vibrations? You can see this. It's like a wave. And this wave is causing vibration. It's like earthquake. Earthquake is due to vibrations. You can hear the sound as well. You can feel the tremors, the shivers. Isn't it? Isn't it better? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. No, I'm talking about earthquake. So earthquake is also like vibrations, isn't it? Vibration under the earth. Right? So it also you know, moves like a wave. The seismic waves, what do you call it as? So it's all about energy. So energy is made by vibrations. Vibration is caused due to this sort of waves, right? Okay. Now the object is vibrating. Now, for example, this object is vibrating. See, like this, it vibrates. So whatever the particles which are in the close proximity, it comes in contact with this vibration, even these particles start moving. These particles start moving. Then this particle will hit the other particle. For example, this is the particle which has got the energy. This particle got the energy. Okay? Now this particle with the energy will start vibrating and then it will hit this other particle which does not have energy. So when it hits this particle which does not have energy, that particle will gain energy from this particle. You got my point? And this will start vibrating. This will again yes, hit right. the other particle. You got it? Getting my point? So what is happening? This has got, for example, maximum energy. When it loses the energy to this particle, this becomes little. Because it loses energy. Again, it loses more energy. So by the time it goes to maybe 100 of the particle, the energy is lost. Hope you have understood. Do you understand? It's like a chain. Yes, ma'am. The energy, the maximum energy, gives loses energy when it strikes the other particles. Getting my point? So this has got maximum yes, energy. When it strikes the other particle which does not have any energy, it loses by giving the energy to that particle. But this energy, one and two will be not the same. One will be more than two. You got my point? Then two will be more than three. Three will be more than four. You hope you have un understood now what is happening? So. Yes, Sometimes right. all the energy will be lost. Got it? So, yes, so this vibration, this vibration is causing the air particles around it to move. Even they start vibrating. So energy is given from one particle to another particle which is in close proximity. What is happening? These particles are bumping into other particles which are close by and it continues till the energy is over. Run out means till the energy becomes zero. It keeps on doing it till there is no energy left for it 
to give the energy to the other particle. It continues till then, till it has got energy. When it is, runs out of energy, then it does not bump into any particle. You understand? It stops vibrating. So what happens? The energy is lost. If there is energy, that means the particle is vibrating. You agree with me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, the energy made yes. the particle vibrate. When the energy becomes zero, do you think the particle will vibrate? No. It will come to rest, isn't it? It will not move. It will come to rest. Have I made things clear to you? Yes. Yes, ma'am. All of you, do you have anything to ask me? You can ask me right now. If there's any sort of doubt, you can stop me right now. No, ma'am. It's a form of energy made by vibration. I told you what is vibration. It's in the form of wave. This much is clear. This much is clear. So this particle vibrates. So it goes here, it goes there. What is vibration? Vibration is like a pendulum here. So it moves here, it moves there. So it keeps on moving like this. Like this, it will keep on moving. Got it? This is called vibration. In solid, you know the vibration is minimum. In liquid, it is more than solid. In gas, it is the maximum. I hope you know that. The vibration of the particles I'm talking about. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. OK. Now, this is an activity that you can do right now while we are uh, going through it. Yes. Who will start reading better? Yeah, I need not ask you again and again. Please, any of you start reading it better. I told Try you it. Put your finger on your neck and say ah as loud as you can. Do it. Then. Now say it as soft as you can. Okay. You then. can not only hear the sound, but you can feel the vibration inside your throat. Do it. All of you do it, please. Put your finger on the throat. And loudly you say ah. Feel the vibration. And slowly you say, ah. Yes, ma'am. Can you feel the vibration? Yes, ma'am. So where the vibration is more better? In the loud. Exactly. So the pitch is loud, the vibration is more. Because the energy is more. I'm putting Which more time? energy, isn't it? To shout, I put more energy. And when I'm whispering to you, when I want that no one should hear me, what I'm talking to you, so the vibration is minimum. Have you understood it, all of you? Yes, ma'am. So that means vibration is causing the sound to come. You agree? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Again, we will revise, please. Sound. Sound is a form of energy produced by vibrations. Sound plays an important part in daily lives. It helps us to communicate with each other. We hear a wide variety of sounds in our surroundings. Sound is produced by a vibrating body. Okay, that's it, better. Now, whatever you read, do we already know about it or is something new? Any of you can give me the answer, better. Whatever... Mohammed Abbas read it just now, just two or three lines. Are we aware of it or is it something new that we are learning? We are aware of it. Exactly. We already know about it. Isn't it? All of you, Bitter? All of you agree? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what is vibration? Read vibration is the is the to and fro or back and forth motion of an object. For example, if you strike a school bell, it vibrates and produces sound. If you pluck a stretch rubber band, it vibrates and produces sound. 
if you beat a drum, it stretches. Membrane vibrates and produces sound. If you blow a bugle, 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 the air column, the air column vibrates and produces sound. And what is the meaning of bugle? I will show you. I will show you everything. So, what is exactly vibration? You know the swing. See, this is the pendulum. So, what is this motion? I think I taught you once. Back and forth. So it goes here, and it comes back, and again it goes back. So it goes here, and then it comes back, isn't it? So this is called as. Please uh, uh, put off your mic. Just check whose mic is on better. My message is the Sarani. So just inform him. Just put a message to him better. So this is called as to and fro motion. What it is called is better. So put off your mic, better, Asad Sarani. What is happening? Okay, thank you. So you know swing. What you call it, jhula, swing. So that is also a to and fro motion, back and forth motion. For example, you are thinking something uh, during exams or before you are preparing for exams. So you keep on walking to and fro. You go on to the left hand side and then you go to right hand side. So what is this movement? This movement is called as back and forth or to and fro motion. You understand? So this is vibration. This is how it happens. Now examples are. Now, there's a school bell, right? If you strike it, if you ring the bell, what happens? The bell starts vibrating. And as soon as it starts vibrating, it produces sound. Same way, uh, we used to play when we were young. I don't know about you people. Uh, we would take a rubber band. Then you will just stretch it in between your fingers. And then you will just pluck it. Pluck it means you will just pull one uh, one part of the a rubber band and then you can hear the sound because of the vibration which is produced in the rubber band also when you beat a drum where are you beating the drum has got a stressed membrane on top so you're beating it that stressed membrane vibrates and then it produces sound same way a bugle bugle is a sort of an instrument which has got an air column inside and it starts vibrating. The air particles start vibrating inside the air column, which produces sound. I will show you one by one. This one is bell. This one is bell. Remember? Second is, see the stress string. Can you see this? The rubber band. And you just plug the rubber band, it can vibrate and it will produce sound. This one is drum. This one is drum. And this is bugle bitter. This is bugle. bugle. So whenever there is a parade or whenever there is a, a, a war, this is what is blown. Okay? Yes. Okay, fine. So I hope you have understood. So in bell, yes, this vibrates. Just a minute. So all are vibrating. All of them are vibrations. Okay. In this case, the solid, this one is vibrating. Here the string is vibrating. Here the stretched membrane is vibrating. Here the air column inside, air column, the air particles are vibrating and that makes the sound. Now these are all musical instruments that produces sound. This one is veena. You know what is veena? This is veena. This is tabla. This is sehenai. This is sehenai. This is tabla. Right? I think you are well aware of all these instruments. This is sitar, dholak, and this is flute. Then you have Violin, 
Then what is this called as? It is sort of dhapli it is, right? And this is mouth organ. Okay? So these are all the musical instruments which work on the vibrations. Now we'll see how this musical instruments work. Please begin with it. Okay. Production of sound okay. musical instruments. Uh, Mohammed Abbas, let him read. Who wants to read? What's your okay. name, Peter? Noorani Moinuddin. Okay, Moinuddin. Give me a small name, that will be better. Moinuddin, read better. Production of sound musical instrument. Production of sound musical instrument depends on the type of instrument. There are four types woodwind, string, percussion, brass. brass. So there are four types of musical instruments. What are they? Woodwind, string, percussion, brass. This is not in a book. I have taken it purposely. So you will learn something. You know more about musical instruments. Now we'll see what are woodwinds instruments. So next woodwinds woodwinds instrument. Woodwinds instrument make music by blowing on the top or on a reed of the instrument. So what are you doing? You are blowing it. You are blowing air into it. So that instruments are called as woodwind instrument. What you call it as? Wood wind instrument. That means there's air column inside. You are blowing it with your mouth. So what are these? These are flute, oboe, clarinet, piccolo, bassoon. So these are the instruments which use, which you put it on your mouth and blow the air and it produces sound. Is it clear? And generally it is made yes, up of wood. It is made up of wood, remember that. But there is a wind column inside. There is a column, air column inside. So you have to blow the air from your mouth and you can have musical notes, right? Beautiful musical notes you can get it from using all these musical instruments. Any problem so far? Any problem better? Now we come to string instruments. String instrument make music by plucking or strumming the strings. Okay. That is called as jhankar. In Hindi, it is called as jhankar. The strumming. You are beating the, you are plucking the strings. What are these? You can see this is one is violin. Yes. The other one is cello. It's a big violin. That is called a cello. Then you have got guitar. See the difference between uh, ordinary guitar the manual guitar and the electric guitar. Can you see the difference? Yes. These are two guitars. And the other one is harp. So all have got strings. Can you see the strings? All of them have got strings. These are called strings. This one. These ones. Okay. All these are strings. So the, the musical notes are observed or obtained by uh, rather rubbing the strings or plucking the strings. Okay, now we come to the third one that is percussion instruments. Please. Percussion instrument make music by striking, shaking or scraping them. Okay, now percussion instruments are the music observed or obtained by striking. That means you are beating it. Shaking it, that means you're just moving it and scraping it. That means with a finger or with a nail, you are scratching it. So you can see over here, one is drum, you're beating it. Then this other one is tambourine, you are shaking it. Then piano, you are scraping it. You know, you're moving your fingertips on the, on the key notes. Then you have the cymbals, you are beating it. Xylophone, scraping it. And maracas, Shaking it. You understood all these activities? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So you now have come to know so many uh, names of the musical instruments. Otherwise, you were not knowing. Were you knowing uh, maracas? Were you knowing tambourine? Yes, the cymbals. 
the symbols is used when uh, people do bhajans i think you know that yes yes ma'am when they uh, worship uh, for uh, gods when they worship gods so when they uh, pray to gods and then they uh, do bhajan uh, so while singing they use the symbols they beat it yes or no these are metallic instruments i wonder whether you uh, you are aware of it or not but these are the names that maybe you were not aware of now you have come to know about it am i right yes ma'am yes okay fine so now you are aware, aware of all the types of musical instruments now we come to the last one that is the brass instrument brass instrument make music by buzzing lips while blowing so you understand by buzzing lips that means you are uh, uh, closing your lips and movement of lips is making the musical notes what are those the french horn the trombone the tuba and the trumpet so these are the musical instruments which is like you are not blowing the air as such but is the you are uh, closing your lips and the vibration of lips is making the sound getting my point that means the air which is you are blowing through your mouth is very less there is a flute you are blowing it in a uh, better manner as compared to brass instruments okay so the lip movement is very much uh, required in the brass movement and in the wind remember which was that the first one beta wood wind instrument here you have to blow the air what you have to do beta you have to blow the air inside the instrument in this case the lip uh, movement is very much required in brass instrument so i hope you have understood this much how yes, the musical notes uh, yes sir observed okay so the one on the left is harmonium yes then tabla then guitar then you got the drums this is sitar and this is ikthara uh, in old time the sages used to uh, have this ikthara and they will go move from place to place by playing uh, songs for gods so these are uh, called as ikthara because it has got only one string can you see this Can you see this? There's only one string. Can you observe that, Peter? See, there's only one string. Yes, ma'am. Only yes. one string. Yes, ma'am. So it is called as ikthara. Okay, because it has got yes, only one string. Then we have got this flute. Can you see this flute? So these yes, are the ma'am. types of uh, musical instruments we have seen. Now we will see. the musical instruments and the vibrating part this i will take up better okay and thank you moinuddin now musical instruments veena i told you so veena has got those strings sitar string violin again string guitar string so all these are string agree till here it is string Yes. Sir. Then we come to the membranes, tabla. So if you take tabla, mridangam, drum, it's all membrane. You agree? The stretch man. We are beating the membrane, and then we get the yes, music. Okay. Then we have sahnai, flute, mouth organ. What do they have? The air column. i hope you understood how the music is made by beating stress membrane by blowing yes, in the air column yes and by plucking yes, the stress string by plucking the stress string we are creating music so for any problem no ma'am okay okay now read now monudin you will stop and someone else will take the charge
यस बेटा एम कैन आई रीड ओके म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स सम म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स प्रोड्यूस साउंड व्हेन दे आर बीटन और स्ट्रंग एग्जांपल बेस स्ट्रक बेटा स्ट्रक स्ट्रक यस एग्जांपल बेल घटाम मंजीरा चलतरंग एटसेट्रा so what are the other musical instruments there are the other musical instruments as well which produce sound when you beat it or when you strike it then only they will produce the sound it sounds funny but it is true example bell you are beating it isn't it you are beating this to the the middle portion you are beating it to the side then only it will be so we are striking this middle portion to the side so it is producing the ringing sound what do you say this is ghatam this is a clay pot usually this ghatam is used in south in southern part of a country ghatam is a very important musical instrument in almost all the classical vocals ghatam is being used then we come to manjira so this is called manjira which we uh, uh, read it as cymbal yes cymbal we just read it this is what i showed you this one see cymbals can you see this, this yes ma'am cymbals this is cymbals isn't it <laughs> This is also called as manjira in Hindi. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So this is manjira, and this one is jal taran. What it is? Jal taran. How these uh, notes are produced? What they do? You know, they take different size of bowls, but of the same material. And then they start from the small to yes. the large, and the sound yes, will be different. Yes. In between, also they can start. But remember that. in all the bowls the amount the volume of water is different you should know that the volume of water is different and the waves the vibration is created in the water that makes the sound do you understand so what that person is doing he is striking the bowl and the vibration is created in the water which makes the sound you understand the sound is not made by the bowl sound is made by the vibration which is produced in the water which is kept in the bowl hope you have understood yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes. are you understanding so this all bowls they are not empty it is filled with water but the volume of water in bowls are different some it is yes. less some it is more some it is half it's like that so as you strike different types of sounds are created you understood beta so this is called jal tarang what it is called jal tarang all these things have to be practiced a lot beta okay now we see how does violin produces sound please begin beta Hello. Please read. What happened? How does violin produce sound? It's violin. The body of violin. It is violin. The body of the violin is a large hollow chamber that functions as a speaker or amplifier for vibration. The strings are suspended above the body of the instrument by a bridge. A small maple piece of wood secure, secured to the top okay. of the instrument by the tension of the strings. The vibration from the strings is transferred through the bridge to the body of the instrument, where the sound is then amplified. You understood this much or no? Yes, ma'am. This body. Yes, this body. The whole body is a chamber. It's a hollow chamber inside. See. what they have done two pieces of wood kept on top of another inside the violin is hollow there is nothing inside the violin 
It is absolutely hollow, and that is producing vibration. Are you understanding? Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Next is. So what is happening inside the violin? Inside, I'm talking about. See, the, this portion inside the violin. This is behaving like a speaker or amplifier. That means it is increasing the sound. Yes or no? Inside the body of the violin. Which is hollow is behaving like a speaker or amplifier. Do you follow me? Hello, boys. Do you follow me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Fine. Next one is strings are above the body of the instrument by a bridge. That is a small maple piece of wood. She cut to the top of the instrument by the tension of the strings. Now, where is the wire? Here is the wire. So from here, here until here, is it clear? So this is a stressed wires on top. In between, there is a maple piece of wood. So it goes on top and then it comes down. This is how the violin is made. Is it clear? This much you understood? Yes. Yes, ma'am. So there's a stressed wire from one end to the other end. In between, there's a maple piece of wood. What is maple? Maple is a type of tree which you get in Canada. Okay. Hello. And uh, in the yes. emblem, in the emblem, you will see maple leaf of Canada. Okay. Okay. Now, when you stretch the strings, when you vibrate the strings, so from the bridge, when you are rubbing the string, when you are playing the violin, the string goes into this maple wood, and from maple wood. It goes inside the body. That means it goes inside the hollow of the violin, which creates the sound. Do you understand? Do you understand now? You are rubbing the string. The vibration goes to this maple wood, which goes inside the hollow of the violin, and we get the musical notes. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Now we come to our box, human voice box. Please. Please continue. Please start to read, better. Human voice box. In human sound is produced by the voice box or the larynx. The voice box is at the upper part end of the wind pipe. Wind pipe. Two oh, vocal cord. cords are stretched across the voice box or larynx in such a way that it leaves a narrow slit between them for the passage of air. Okay. So, what is the other name of the voice box, Vita? It is. What is the other name of the voice box? Larynx. Larynx. So this voice box, where do you find this voice box? Upper part of the windpipe. What is the other name of windpipe? Beta? Trachea. Say with me. What is the other name of windpipe? Trachea. Is it clear? <laughs> what is the other name of uh, voice box? Larynx. What is the other name of windpipe? Trachea. Trachea. Got it? Okay. Mm -hmm. How many vocal cords do we have? We have got two vocal cords. The spelling is wrong over here. I hope you will understand. There are two vocal cords, and it is stressed where larynx. 
How is the stress? That it remains, there's a narrow slit in between two vocal cords. So one and two vocal cords, there's a narrow slit in between two this vocal cords between them so that the air is passing. Because if there's no air, do you think you will get any sound? No, there has to be passage of air to have the vibration so that the sound will be delivered. This much is clear? Is this much yes, clear? Okay. I will show you how does it look like. This is voice box. This is the nasal cavity, that means the nose part. Okay? Got it? And this is your tongue. And this is epiglottis that we tell you, we rather ask you not to talk, not to speak when you're eating. Because this epiglottis opens up and the food particles that is in the mouth goes into the windpipe. This is the windpipe. Can you see this? The lines, the three lines you can see over here. This is the windpipe. You understand? Yes, ma'am. And on top of the windpipe, we have this larynx. And below larynx, we in, in the larynx, not below, in the larynx, we have got this two vocal cords. You understood next part? Yes. All of you? And that's the reason yes, why we say not to speak while eating because this epiglottis flap, this is a flap. It is. It opens up because of the passage of air and the food particles gets into the windpipe and then we start coughing. Have you observed this sort of things, accident happening? By eating? Anytime your food particles, you get choked up and you start coughing, your eyes start watering. Yes, ma'am. Does it happen anytime? Yes. This is what ha is happening. Because lungs do not have that much of capillaries, that much of white capillaries, that much of white tubes for the food particles to get in. It gets clogged. It gets choked because the the passage in the lungs is like hair. It's so thin. So we cannot breathe properly. So then we start coughing. And then it comes out. And after some time when we take water, we become, become at ease. Okay? So I think we can call it a day today, Vita. The time is already up. What do you say? This much have you understood nicely? All of you? Yes, ma'am. Any yes, doubts you can ask me right now? If you have any doubts, Vita? Yes? So, uh, I take it for granted that you have understood nicely. And uh, you have come to know many things which are very new to you. Yes, Vita? So enjoy your day, have a great day, and obey to your parents. Okay, and please, one more thing I want to tell you is uh, don't take your uh, exam.